This is the sun, and it's the closest an Earth-made vessel has ever been to that fiery orb. We've never been closer to the sun with a camera, and this is just the beginning of the long, epic journey of Solar Orbiter, which will take us even closer to the sun in less than two years' time. The Solar Orbiter is a joint mission between NASA and the European Space Agency. The images it sent back reveal so-called campfires on the surface of the sun. They were taken by the unmanned orbiter nearly 50 million miles from the sun. So up to now, we've only been able to really image that part of the sun from the Earth's perspective. But we're going to be able to take images and pictures of the polar regions of the sun for the very first time. And this is extremely exciting. And also the powerful suite of instruments that Solar Orbiter offers. It's a combination of the ones that take images, the remote sensing, and the ones that are sampling the plasma, the in-situ data. And so that combination really allows us to make links and, and connections to what's happening on the sun and, where, and what's happening at the spacecraft. And that's really important for understanding the global magnetic field of the sun. Those polar regions are important. And so we'll be able to model better the, the global magnetic field, how it's interacting with itself, and how it's driving space weather. So it's going to be really, really exciting to see what those poles offer and determine a little bit more understanding about how the sun operates and how it drives its, its heliosphere. And scientists say the best is yet to come from the orbiter, which launched in February of 2020. This is not quite as close as we will eventually get. Our closest approach will be uh, just over a quarter of the distance between the sun and Earth. And uh, we will reach that in uh, about two years' time. This is Inside Edition Digital.